You are either living your life according to this world or you're living your life according to God's world. You are either living your life according to the world that God said for us not to love or you're living your life according to the world that God said he does love. Which world are you living by? Which world are you believing in? Which world are you in love with? And a lot of people, if we just quit playing games and be totally honest, the majority of the people that you see, they are completely in love with this world. The majority of the people you see, they are totally sold out to this world. The majority of the people that you see in church, they are completely in love with this world. Don't try to hide behind being a churchgoer. If you are in love with this world, you are just in love with this world. Don't try to hide behind the fact that you claim salvation. If you are conformed to this world and in love with this world, then you are just living your life by this world. The truth is just the truth. Jesus himself made a statement where he said, I am not of this world. He made that statement because even though he was in this world, he was not in love with this world. Christ was not conformed to this world. Christ was not living according to this world. But that's not what we see today. If the truth be told, we see a whole lot of conforming to this world. If the truth be told, even though it's done got so fixed up now, until you can claim to love God and still live according to this world, you can claim to be a faith walker and still be totally dependent upon this world. And it's okay. That's the way it is today. But that's not the life that a true believer lives, period. I'm not saying that's not the life that a true believer should be living because a true believer does not live their lives according to this world, period. A true faith walker does not live their lives based on this world. I'll make another statement that I already know a lot of people don't like. If you are living your life according to this world, you are not saved. I'm going to say it again for the people who think he didn't just say what I think he said. If you are living according to this world, you are not saved. If you are living according to this world, you are not delivered. If you are living according to this world, you are not blessed. If you are living your life based on this world, you are not a faith walker. I don't care. There is no way you are a true believing, born again, 
faith walking child of God, but your life is totally lined up with this world. Think about that. There is no way. The only way you can possibly live your life according to scriptures and live your life lined up with God's design or God's system is if you are not in love with this world. The only way you can do that is if you are not patterning your life after this world. That is the true deliverance that God came to give us. That is the true deliverance that Christ died for us to have. True deliverance is to be delivered from this world, this man-made system of life. So if you are living according to this world and basing your life off of this world, this system, man's system of doing things, man's design, if that's what you're living by, you are not delivered. And I know people think, well, God delivered me from smoking. God don't just want to deliver you from one sin over here and one sin over there. God's deliverance is to deliver you from this foolishness out here. God's deliverance is to get you to live according to God's design and not this man-made system out here. God's deliverance is to get you to live according to God's system and not this man-made system. That's why the scripture says we are in the world but we are not of the world. That type of deliverance is even a part of this world. That's not God's world. Even that type of salvation that you hear about now, where, yeah, I don't do that, and I don't do that no more, and I don't do this, but you're still conformed to this world, which means you have totally missed the point. But see, religion tells you that it's okay as long as you're not doing these things. There's a list of things that we all know, okay, you can't be doing that. If you're doing this, you're not saved. If you're smoking, drinking, cussing, sleeping around, clubbing, yeah, you're not saved. It's a lot bigger than that. Because even if you're not smoking, drinking, cussing, sleeping around and clubbing, if you're not doing those things, that don't mean you have come out of this world and entered God's world. That still doesn't mean that you have stopped living according to this world and started living according to God's world. Just because you got a list of things that you didn't cut off and a list of people that you didn't cut loose, that still doesn't mean that you have stopped living according to this man-made system and started living according to God's system. And in the end, that's going to be the bottom line. It's not going to be whether or not you went to church. It's not going to be whether or not you stop doing this list of things. The bottom line is going to be, were you conformed to this world? Or were you transformed into God's world? Were you living according to this man-made system? Or were you living according to God's system? It's this world versus God's world. In this world, salvation is letting go of that sin and letting go of that sin. In God's world, 
salvation is letting go of this man-made design and living by God's design. In this world, deliverance is being nitpicked deliverance. Delivered from that and delivered from them, but not delivered from this world. In God's world, deliverance is being delivered from this man-made system, this man-made design, and living by God's system or God's design. In this world, you can work to get anything you desire. In God's world, you can believe to get what you desire. In this world, when you're sick or going through something in your body, you can go see doctors and take medicine to be healed. In God's world, the prayer of faith heals the sick. In God's world, you speak healing over your own body and what you speak manifests. In this world, you are blessed when you get a house. In God's world, you are blessed when you know, understand, and live by God's system. In this world, you are blessed when you get money. In God's world, you get money when you give. I'm talking about this world, this man-made system of doing things, this way of life that man has created versus God's world, God's design for life, God's system of doing things. Which world are you living by? Which world are you conformed to? Which world are you in love with? This world or God's world?